Wake up, kids. Time for math with Mrs. Lehman. This is Mrs. Lehman here, and I have two helpers today. We are going to be doing Lesson 22 with the help of Riley and Samantha. Thank you, ladies. So today's lesson is finding um, distance and rate, okay? Rate of speed, to be specific. So they start this lesson out with the formula for distance. And distance equals rate, and then it has a dot here, and then time. Who can tell me? Actually, I'll have Sam tell me, um, since there's only there are only two children here to help. What does that dot mean? To multiply. Very good. How is this different than a decimal point? Is it located in the same spot? No. No, it's up in the middle, right? So. A decimal point we put down right next to the numbers, this one would go up in the middle. So this is one of the fancy disguises that multiplication has, okay? It's it at a fancy place, and then the multiplied thing looks kind of fancy place. Yeah, it's a fancy outfit, something <coughs> new now that you're in sixth grade. All right, anyway, so we have distance equals rate times time. So you'll see the word rate here, and when we're talking about distance, that rate is the speed that the car or whatever is going. Okay? So the distance is how far something goes. The rate is the speed. What word, what word will you hear when we hear a rate? Think of Rady the rate cat. Oh! Purr! Purr, yeah. Very good. And time, we know what what units of measurement do we use for time? Like seconds, hours, hours seconds, minutes. minutes. Yep, hours, very good. Days, weeks, minutes, that type seconds, of thing. Months, years. Yeah, very good. Yep. But probably for speed, we're just going to be using probably hours, minutes, seconds in these examples. All right, so we are going to skip down here to example two, actually. Um, where we're going to talk about Chris Johnson who ran the 40 yard dash in 4.2 seconds. So there's one other, actually I'm going to scroll back up to be honest. Alright, so you're going to use one of these two formulas. Okay, so to find the distance you would take your speed and multiply it by your time. So for example, if I was driving 60 miles per hour and I did that for two hours, I could figure out how far I drove. How far would that be, Riley? 120 miles. Very good. And you got that by doing what? Multiplying 60 by 2? Yep, very yeah. good. So um, that's how you'd find the distance. You take your rate of speed and you multiply it by your time. If you want to find your speed, which we're going to call rate, okay, to find your rate of speed, you're going to have to do some division. Does anyone know what that would be? Um, would it be time divided by distance or other way? What do you think? Would we want to figure out, um, for example, how far we go in an hour or how long it takes us to go one mile? How far we go in an hour? How far we go in an hour, yeah. So we yeah, take we our, time. yep, we take our distance and we divide it by time. Okay? So that's pretty standard. Um, so those are your two formulas. So I told the kids today in class that you need to decide, depending on the question and the problem, which of these formulas you want to use. Do you want to use the distance formula or do you want to use the speed or rate formula? All right? You need to come prepared to this job with the right tool. So which formula will you use? We are going to now look at example two, which is Chris Johnson. All right, he ran the 40 yard dash in 4.24 seconds. So I'm going to have Riley and Sam each take a marker here. And, oops, I guess I have to both underline in the same color. Um, I'm gonna have Riley underline the first important thing here. It says Chris Johnson ran the 40 yard dash, right? And she underlined 40 yards. What does that tell us? Our distance, our rate, or our time? Our distance. Our distance. So put a D on top of that, please. 
Thank you, ma'am. And Sam is going to underline our next key component here, which is 4.24 seconds. And Sam, what is that? Our time. Very good. So you're going to put a T up above. Nice job. And then the next, next question says, what is the rate of speed? So that's kind of a giveaway. What is that asking us to that find? That is the rate. Very good. Yep, and it says, what is the rate of speed? And the next thing it says, round any answer to the nearest hundredth. So what's important there, Sam? Round to the nearest hundredth. Yep, all of that is important. Round to the nearest hundredth. Okay. So next, uh, Riley's going to write down which of the two formulas we are going to use. So it's asking us to find the rate of speed. So which one of these, circle the one that you think we would use. Ding, ding, ding. Riley's correct. All right, so we're going to write that same formula right down here. And we can actually, if you want to, just use the abbreviation. So the D, the R, and the T. Oops, it's writing with your hand. Perfect. All right, so now she's going to plug in the actual numbers that we were given for this question. She's writing some extra stuff with the with her hand. That's okay. okay. Sam's doing some stuff to try to delete it. Riley's busting out the eraser. Okay. Riley's adding back in the equal sign and she's saying the distance is 40 yards. 40 yards. <laughs> and the, the now she's showing a marker by accident. And Sam is writing 4.24 seconds. All right. And for time's sake, we are going to use a calculator to do this. Now, it asks us to round to the nearest hundredths. So we need hundredths. We need to go to three spots over so we can then round to the hundredths, the hundredth spot. So we type that in our calculator. We got. Three, three? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have to make a decision here. Sam, do we want to make this 9.43 or do we want to bump it up to 9.44? 9.43. Very good, why? Because this three, uh, this three right here is uh, less than five, so you would just let it go. Let it go, yep. So we're going to. We're going to round that to 9.43. And what is our label, Sam? Uh, what did we divide? Yards per second. Very good. So we're going to write yards per second. Oh. Okay, so yards, that's, that's yards per second. Very good. All right. Okay. Okay, kids, we're now flipping to page 67, and it's talking about a road trip. And it says, I drove my car on cruise control at 65 miles per hour for three hours without stopping. How far did I go? So our first job is to go through and do what? Underline the important stuff. Very good. Go ahead and do that, ladies. 65 miles per hour, three hours, and that's without stopping. And then the question is, how far did I go? Nice job. Now we're going to go through and label. Do we want, what do we want to label 65 miles per hour? Our distance, our rate, or our time? Our, our distance? No. no. Wait, no. no. I'm glad you said that, even though that's incorrect. Look at this key word here. Uh, it's per, it says that's per a hour. That that's is a rate. rate. Very good. So put an R above that. And then three hours, Riley, would be? Which would be our time. Very good. And how far would be our? Would be our distance. Very good. So which formula do we want to use? Do we want to use distance equals rate times time, or do we want to figure out rate equals distance over time? Distance equals 
great times time. Very good. And they actually gave that yeah. to us. So I guess that was no big surprise. All right. So we got to fill in our answers. They gave us the formula we have to plug in. So D equals, and what's our rate here, miles per hour? 65. Yep. Write that right there. And then how many hours? It would be three. Yep. So uh, we need to now just multiply. But one thing that they're pointing out here in the module is that because we are multiplying miles per hour by hours, just like with uh, fractions, we can simplify before we do that multiplying. It's the same with the units here. So that's going to leave us just with miles when we're done. So 65 times 3. Go ahead and multiply that out, please. Riley's on it. 65 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. Carry the 1. Whoa, okay. Why does that always happen to me? And then 3 times 6 is 18 plus the 1 would be 19. Very good. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so 195. You want to fill that in down there, please? Sam's doing that. 195. Beautiful. <coughs> All right, so we traveled 195 miles. All right, now in exercise two, we we come to something that happens a lot. Um, sometimes we're given our time in minutes instead of hours. So this is a big warning that you, or not a big warning, it's something that you need to be warned of, okay? You don't want to go ahead and multiply by the minutes. What you want to do is convert those minutes to what? What do we want to convert our minutes to? The hours. The hours, very good, because we're talking about miles per hour. So it says, on the road trip, the speed limit changed to 50 miles per hour. Let's, let's do that. Okay. So what would that be? 50 miles per hour is our rate. Yep. Traffic moved along at a constant rate, 50 miles per hour, same info, right? And it took me 15 minutes, and they already converted that for you to 2,500 hours, all right, to get through the zone. So that's a fourth of an hour, right? A quarter of an hour, 15 minutes. So it says, what was the distance of the construction zone? So, and then it, we have to round our answer to the nearest hundredth again. So here we go. We got to plug in some info. They already told us that we would need the distance formula because it's asking what was the distance. So how many miles per hour, Sam? Um. Uh, fourth, uh, 50 miles. Final answer? Yes. 50, okay. 50 miles per hour, and how many hours was that? It is 0 0.25. Very good. You know, put the point? Yeah, I would. Beautiful. All right, now we need to go ahead and multiply that. So, we're getting that set up now. And Riley's choosing, I think she's going to choose to put the 50 on the bottom because we're going to make good use of that zero, save ourselves some extra work. All right, so she's going to write the zero and then do 5 times 5. Yep. And then 5 times B is 10, plus the 1 would be 12. And then what? Oh, we don't want to do that yet, Sam, okay? Because you don't know if it's going to be an answer that's in the thousands, okay? The decimal point in. So Sam's putting the decimal point in. How do you know where to put the decimal point? Because um, this one, it has two numbers after the decimal mm -hmm. point, so we'd have to have two numbers after the decimal point. Very good, yep. Very good. You cut off the total number. So there we go. We know that the distance would be, so D equals... 12.50. And then what would our units be for distance? What do we measure distance in? In this case? Miles. Miles, yep. Yeah. So write miles down. Okay. I'm going to walk you through. Thank you, ladies. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh -huh. uh, quickly what you need to do for your homework. So you're going to follow the lead that these two ladies just gave you in the previous examples. You need to figure out 
I'm going to steal a marker from one of them. Thank you, ma'am. I um, am going to tell you, use either this or speed or rate. Either one equals distance over time. You need to decide which one you need. So, for example, if Adam's plane traveled at a constant speed of 375 miles per hour, I see per, that tells me this is the rate, for six hours, that's the time, how far did the plane travel? So I'm looking to figure out the distance, right? So I'm going to use distance equals rate times time. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug those in. So I would put in a rate of 375 times six hours and multiply that out and get my answer, okay? In this case, a salt marsh harvest mouse ran 360 centimeters straight. A 600, wow, I'm going to say that again. A salt marsh harvest mouse ran a 360 centimeter straight course race in nine seconds. How fast? So 360 centimeters is our distance. Nine seconds is our time. And how fast is our rate? So we're going to use which formula? Speed formula or the distance formula? Final answer, what do you guys think? Ooh, Joey pipes in from the back of the room finally. Yes, he's right. So you want to use the rate or speed um, formula because you're trying to figure out how many, how many centimeters per second, right? And you're going to divide your, divide your distance by your time. All right, so the homework tonight was 84 through 88. Um, I hope you have a great day and a nice long weekend. I want you to say goodbye, ladies. Goodbye. Goodbye. Joey? <laughs> Joey says peace. All right. Have a nice weekend, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye, people.